Musicals have always been popular in Korea, but it's a special treat when the original cast of a Broadway musical makes its way to Korea. The longest-running American musical in Broadway history, Chicago the Musical, will run at the National Theater with its original tour cast from June 10th to August 8th. And we're lucky, lucky to have the two main leading ladies in the studio today. Uh, welcome to Tara McLeod, who plays Velma Kelly, and uh, Dailise Croman, who plays Roxy Hart. Hi. Good morning, ladies. Thank Thanks you, for coming. In. So can you tell us a little bit uh, about the uh, musical? What's the story? It's set in 1920s Chicago, I hear. Yeah. Yes, it's a 1920s. Um, uh, it's a story about, uh, well, I like to say it's a story about redemption. It's like these these ladies that commit murders in, back in the 1920s and that um, the the way they have to come out of it, the way they have to find um, <laughs> get a lawyer, mm. figure out how to get out of get the pickle of they've mess. gotten in and get, <laughs> get out of their, out mess. Of their mess. But um, uh, the 1920s was an interesting era, just uh, the change of uh, music at that time, like the uh, the jazz music coming into play. And, um, and also we were just talking about, um, it was also a time when women had just had the right to vote. And I was saying to Dailise, I said, it's interesting because this was probably also a time when women felt they had a confidence that maybe they didn't have before. So at this time, when these murders were taking place, maybe had it happened a few years earlier, the women wouldn't have had the confidence to maybe approach a lawyer mm. and, and feel that they had the power within themselves to, to, stand, up for, to stand up for themselves. Yeah, so, mm. I, And we were just talking about that. I said, wow. So very interesting that it all happened in the 20s when a new era of rights came in for women mm. and perhaps that brought in a lot of confidence yeah mm-hmm. um where these women <laughs> got away <laughs> with <laughs> murder <laughs> right. i don't say that's right uh-huh. but you know gave right. them something maybe they wouldn't have had right a few years earlier and yeah. the other part of the story is that the the um satirical like society uh, making these people stars mm-hmm. for yeah. mm-hmm. for murder yeah. <laughs> for murder celebrating so celebrity criminals exactly yeah. 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 sensationalizing yeah. them yeah. Yeah, I heard it's based on a, a real account of events in Chicago. Mm-hmm. It yeah. is. It was. Yeah. There's a book, and I have it, and I wish I could. You know, I have a few books on this, but it's like Bright Lights, Big City, about the actual crimes, mm. and it is from the. Um, reporter's point of view and how Mm. there were a bunch of women who were sensationalized for these crimes that they had committed in Chicago. Mm -hmm. In Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. The reporter from uh, the Chicago Tribune wrote a play based on these two women um, that were uh, later on Roxy Hart and Velma Kelly. They're they're based on a real actual and they were acquitted. They were acquitted. These women Mm -hmm. were. Yeah. Just like in the story. It's actually unusual for uh, any sort of uh, production to have two leading ladies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Isn't that great? Yeah. yeah. It's like there's no one star. Both of you exactly. are equally yeah. stars. <laughs> yeah, and sure. there's a nice it's balance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's the beauty of it. Who do you story. think has a stronger or badder character? I mm. say Roxy does. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, really? That's my opinion. Interesting. Yeah, that's my opinion. <laughs> right? Roxy is Dilee's role. Yeah. <laughs> I blame everything on her anyway. Mm. Uh, who's badder? Who's badder? Mm. Well, I would say they both are equally yeah, pretty bad. I mean, bad. they both uh-huh. have, they're both from a little bit the other, the wrong side of the tracks. Yeah. They both have committed murder. So there is no, there really is no justification for murder. Mm-hmm. Really, there isn't. Um, uh, Velma has a little bit, uh, an up, uh, one up on Roxy when the, when you, when you first meet, you know, in the beginning of the story, because she's been around the block for a while. She, her murder happened mm-hmm. and she's already ha- you know, found her lawyer, Billy Flynn, and she's more in the process. She's been a star in the papers mm-hmm. for longer. And, and Roxy comes in kind of the, that naive like green, the newbie, the, newbie mm-hmm. the new kid on the block. The on the block. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so that's the difference. But then at the end, it's really beautiful how they end up being exactly in the same yeah. place. Yeah. They need each other. Um, uh, and, yeah, they. It's a full circle moment for both of them. At the yeah. end, of do you show. like the roles you play, or do oh, you sometimes yeah. wish you play the other person's I role? Wish. I wish that I, would be fun to play great. the other person, but yeah, they're so well written. They are, and yeah. I, I honestly, that's the brilliance of the show. Is and and some actresses have come in and played both roles over mm-hmm. the last eighteen mm-hmm. years. Yeah. Um, and that's the beauty of it is they're so, um. The, the characterization is is so layered that any actress coming into it, I'd be surprised, wouldn't want to tackle one or the other. Right. Oh, yeah. I'd love to they're both, both so they're, juicy. They're they have, yeah, there's lots so of fun. 
How long have you been playing uh, Velma? I started yeah. in 2003, mm. uh, and I, it's been, you know, Chicago's been part of my life since. Mm -hmm. I, I, I haven't been doing it, it every day since 2003, <laughs> but it's it's a show that I go in and out of um, almost at least once a year. And, and the been, whole time you played Velma? Yeah. You never played Roxy? No, oh. I loved, I mean, I, I don't know if I'd ever do it in, in our production, uh -huh. and, but if ever later on in life or, you know, a regional production said, want to try it, I think I would be tempted to do that but to do it with our production I think I'd, I think I'd be so intimidated or <laughs> self-conscious I'd rather do it in a different different time Ooh. of my life mm -hmm. yeah a different setting mm -hmm. and Dailies how long have you been with Chicago? I've been with the show well originally I started with the tour in 1998 oh. and I, I did the tour for a little while mm -hmm. as Mona and then I year you know I went went off and did other Broadway shows and then they asked me to come back and join the Broadway show in um, 2008 mm -hmm. so I've been with the show now for about seven years or so and you've never play Velma either. I've never played Velma. I've played every other woman in the show except oh, for Velma. Oh, so <laughs> well, she and, sorry, and Mama. Mama and Velma are the only two I have. Uh, well, you yeah. might be the next Velma. Who knows? <laughs> no, no, no. I love I love playing Roxy. It's it's one it's it is my dream role actually. I've always wanted to play that role uh -huh. and so this is a dream come true. It really is. And to play with Tara, it, we our we chemistry is great. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of fun, yeah. 